Welcome to the I Institute podcast, where today we're diving deep into the realm of eight problem solving. This comprehensive approach, which originated in the automotive sector and has since spread its wings across various industries, is all about tackling issues with precision and sustainable action. So let's uh, break down each of the eight disciplines and see how they apply in real world scenarios, ensuring that, uh, that teams not only address current problems, but also fortify themselves against future challenges. Starting off, the origins of the ADE problem solving method really highlight its practicality and necessity in achieving high quality outcomes. Developed by Ford in the 1980s, the ADE approach was a game changer, combining logic, analytics, and importantly, teamwork to systematically navigate through operational and quality hurdles. It's fascinating, isn't it? How something created for automotive manufacturing has found relevance across the board from healthcare to it, proving that good problem solving trans industry boundaries diving into the steps. We begin with establishing a team. Uh, the importance of bringing together diverse perspectives cannot be overstated. It's about ensuring that each team member contributes their unique expertise towards identifying and resolving the issue at hand. Imagine assembling a team where each member's role is pinpointed to leverage their strengths. This is the foundation of effective problem solving. Next up, describing the problem. And um, this is where precision really matters. A well-defined problem statement sets the stage for targeted analysis and actionable solutions. It's about digging deep and gathering factual, quantifiable data, no assumptions, just clarity. Think of it as setting the coordinates before embarking on a journey. You need to know exactly where you're starting from to navigate to your destination efficiently. Now, we can't overlook the importance of interim containment actions. This is akin to putting up a temporary dam to stop the flood while you work on a permanent fix. It's a crucial step that buys time preventing the issue from worsening while the root cause is being investigated. Picture this thing. A scenario where you're mitigating output loss without halting the production line entirely. It's all about balance and immediate response. Uh, the search for the root cause. This is where detective work meets critical analysis. Techniques like the five whys and fishbone diagram really shine here, guiding teams through a structured inquiry to unearth the underlying issues. And verification. Oh, verification is key. It's not enough to speculate you have to test and confirm that you've identified the true root cause. Then we move to verifying and implementing permanent corrective actions. This step transitions from theoretical solutions to practical applications. It involves a careful evaluation of the proposed fixes and importantly, testing these solutions on a smaller scale before rolling them out fully. This is where theory meets practice, ensuring that the solutions are not only effective, but also viable in the long term. Uh, and Let's not forget about implementing and validating these actions. It's one thing to devise a plan, but another to see it through successfully. This phase is all about execution and monitoring, ensuring that the solutions indeed address the problem as intended. Preventive measures, the seventh step, shift the focus towards future proofing. It's about taking the insights gained and embedding them into the organization's practices, preventing a recurrence. This could mean updating training programs or revising maintenance schedules essentially learning from the past to safeguard the future. Finally, congratulating your team. This step is crucial for morale and motivation. Recognizing the team's efforts not only celebrates their success, but also reinforces the value of collaboration and perseverance in overcoming challenges. In wrapping up, the eight problem solving process is not just a methodical approach to tackling issues. It's a catalyst for continuous improvement in organizational resilience. Its adaptability across industries underscores its value as a tool for not just solving problems, but also for fostering a culture of proactive problem solving and continuous growth. So there you have it, a comprehensive breakdown of the AD problem solving methodology. Whether you're in manufacturing, healthcare, it, or any other field, the principles of aid offer a structured pathway to not just solve problems, but to do so in a way that builds stronger, more resilient teams and organizations. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, in the world of problem solving, the journey is just as important as the destination.